everybody, this is Praxis, and I finally finished all of the perimeter stucco work that absolutely has to be done before the backfilling process happens. There's one section just over here that I just left undone because it's like way over my head, and I could much easier do that when you know there's more fill in there, uh, and it's not going to hold anything up not having that finished. So I left that, and there's uh, stucco work on the interior greenhouses I haven't done, but other than that, all the outside is done, and now I'm finally able to start moving back to these floorboard areas. Uh, we've got a little bit of rain lately, which isn't the best for working with the floorboards because they're kind of wet, and when they're wet, they're swollen, and they don't fit together so great. Um, so uh, I'm trying to let them dry out as best I can. That's why I got them all laid out here. There's a stack right behind you there, and the stack tends to stay more wet, but when you lay them out like this, they can dry faster. But in the meantime, while I wait for it, I'm taking the opportunity to take these floor joists and make sure that they're all still straight. Uh, as you're nailing things in together, sometimes they'll kind of get bent as you go. And as I've been bringing the, uh, the floorboards across these, you know, th there's a chance that some of these might have kind of tilted one way or the other. And I want to make sure that they're straight by the time I get back over here, not just so that they're straight and aesthetic and structurally strong, but also there are going to be the posts that are going to uh, fit into these slots. And if the slots are all over the place, the posts are going to want to be all over the place. They're not going to be plumb. They're not going to be vertical. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to fight against it. So I'm trying now, while I can still wiggle things to get things straight, the way that I'm doing that is I'm using these uh, boards to kind of tie everything together across here. I've got this little piece of scrap floorboard I'm using as leverage, and I'm putting it into these little slots here with some cardboard to leave a little bit of an extra gap when I, when I tighten these together. So this is kind of where the post is going to be. And uh, I'm going to take this clamp and move my leg and use the clamp to grip the boards. Yeah, there we go. Uh, use the clamp to grip around this temporary post. Okay, it's nice and snug in there. And I'll use the level here to figure out, you know, whether this is vertical or not. So I'm looking at it and it looks pretty close to vertical, but it needs to push this way just a little bit. So I'm going to push it that way and that is twisting this joist here a little bit. I've got these two nails here and I'm ready to drive them in. I'm gonna, whoo, I'm gonna over push it just a little bit. There we go, whoa man. I have, the, la the ladder's not really very well supported here because I don't want to be putting a lot of weight on here so the ladder's pretty close to vertical which makes it a little less stable. All right, here we go. Double check it before I sink it, yep. That's good, and the second nail for a bite, there we go. Whoa, don't take safety lessons from me. <laughs> okay, uh, or maybe you know, I'm a bad example, so take it that way. Oh yeah, I'm double checking it, it's nice and level. So this one's done, and I'm just gonna proceed down the run here, uh, make sure that they're all nice and vertical, so when I continue with the floorboards, they're gonna be securing these in this nice vertical uh, position, and uh, you know, then I won't have to fight with the posts later on. That's it. Thanks for watching.